Welcome back to Another Look, and as promised, I am here with Antoine Quentin Fisher, who is a native Clevelander and also a successful playwright, and we're going to start out the conversation talking about some of the things that you've done up to this point, and then we'll get to your book, Finding Fish, and you are the subject of that book, and uh, we'll talk about those things. And welcome to the show. Thank you. It's so good to have you here. It's good to be here. Okay. So tell me about some of the things that you've done. I just read a little bit, and I really don't know much about these movies, to be honest, but I know you had some things to do with Rush Hour. You wrote the script for that or rewrote the script for that. Tell me about that. Yes, I, uh, the first screenplay I wrote was uh, Finding Fish, the movie. We've changed the name, but we haven't gotten a name for it. The second screenplay I did was it was called Scouts Honor, mm -hmm. the story of how black children were able to become Boy Scouts. Then I wrote a story called My Summer Friend for HBO New York. Then I, I uh, was the last writer on Rush Hour and I did the production rewrite. That was rest, the first Rush Hour. Then I did, um, uh, m no, that was Money Talks I did. Mm -hmm. I was production rewrite. And then I did uh, Rush Hour. Then I did a uh, Double O Soul okay. movie and for Universal. Then I did uh, Trigger Happy for Universal. Okay. Then and Jelly Beans for Warner Brothers. Okay. Now, what about Jelly Beans? Isn't that is that the most recent one? I think I heard is yes. that the one with Will Smith? It's it's for Will it, uh, Will Smith is producing it. Mm -hmm. Him and his partner James Lasseter, and uh, it's a story about uh, Tion Watkins, the girl T Boz in the group TLC and Dallas Austin, their producer, how they met in this skating rink in Atlanta called Jelly Beans. Okay. Now, how did you get started being a screenwriter? How'd that happen? I was working on the studio a lot, and I was looking for my family at the time. And uh, I had found them, and I hadn't been there long enough to acquire any leave, so uh, they required me to tell them why I wanted to leave, because, you know. Mm -hmm. And so when I came back, they said it would make a good movie. And I kept thinking that I could be involved somehow. Maybe writing wouldn't cost anybody anything mm -hmm. to encourage me to write. And so, uh, you know, they kept saying no because I hadn't had any writing experience and never had been to college or whatever they said. And I decided to, uh, I got uh, some uh, legal pads and some pencils. Mm -hmm. And I wrote the screenplay, like a fourth of it. And I showed it to a producer, the producer that's, uh, that's uh, producing my movie, mm -hmm. my life story, and uh, he, uh, you know, told me I could, you know, if I wanted to quit my job and write my story full time, he would pay me a salary, which he did. Oh, okay. And uh, a year later, I sold it. You know, I worked on it for the entire year. I wrote like 41 drafts of it before 20th Century Fox bought it. Wow, that was a lot of hard work. 41 drafts. Huh? Yeah, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was using his own money. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to let the guy down. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna, but you had no plans in on becoming a screenwriter. It just kind of happened because you were looking for your family. Right. Prior to that, prior to that, what were you I was a prison guard. Doing? Okay. And I got a little stressed out there, so I, I thought so. I'd uh, get an easy job, and I became a security guard at Sony Pictures, just to uh, let you know. Figure out till I figure out what I was going to do, and I found myself being interested in the things that were around me, mm -hmm. and that's how it happened. So, needless to say, it was probably one of the better things that, that ever happened to you, then, huh? Yeah, so you know, some of my friends were saying it was a big step backwards, but it turned out to be a big step forward. Okay, okay. Now, let's talk about your book and your growing up here. Um, so, you, you've 